हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज मोइन फ्रॉम स्ट्रक्चर वीडियो एंड वेलकम टू माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ स्टार्ट प्रो वर्जन वी आई टाई कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर एनालाइज एंड डिजाइन वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज एंड फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द स्टेप बाय स्टेप हाउ टू क्रिएट ए मॉडल एंड एनालाइज इन स्टार्ट प्रो सो आई वॉज इन दिस स्टेज सो आई एम गोइंग टू हेयर न्यू स्ट्रक्चर अगेन जस्ट नो एंड स्पेस नेक्स्ट एड बीम finish so you will see this type of window here and you can see here there is a grid so if you want to work with this grid you can do you can see here if you go to edit you can see the setting of this grid the spacing is one feet apart and in x direction there are 10 grid and y direction there are 10 grid if you want to change this to 2 you can do and also you can do you can change from here so click okay this is 2 feet by 2 feet If you want to draw any node, then you have to click here, snap node beam. So the when this is on, then you can draw this way a frame. If you want, then press yes to exit from the command. And now you can see here there are many cursor. First one is node cursor, second one is beam cursor, and third one is plate cursor, fourth one is surface cursor, and also there are solid cursor and geometry cursor. You can see one, two, three. six type of cursor here so you have to use this particular cursor to select the specific object so if i want to select this member then i have to take this beam cursor then i can if i draw this way then i can select this and you can see here the grid is in x and y plane and this is in a elevation so if i want to draw this way then i can do and i can also copy this to make any three dimensional model but actually i don't want to use this process i want to use a another process which is very quick so close this one and delete this right delete okay yes done now you can see here if you go to here ge geometry then you have to close this grid window and now you can see the structure note and if you just write a zero here and click in the bottom you can see there is a node so using coordinate you can draw point first i have to draw point of various column here so you can see here the plan i am going to work with this plan and here is also the distance bit of various column so i have to also take some dimension here so you can see here i have a column here then here here so if i want to draw the column i can do the first i have to draw a Zero zero point. So this is the origin. If I want to select this point, I can select using taking this node cursor this way. Okay. Now I want to. This is my first point. So I am assuming this column uh, point has been drawn. Now I want to draw this point. So this is eleven feet ten inch away, which is along x axis. So this is eleven point nine two along x and y is zero. So when I am clicking the next point then it is showing the point so my two point has been drawn so this point and this point the third point is 11 feet 11 inch so if i write here 11.92 sorry my first point is 11.83 and the second point is 11.83 and third point should be from here i have to take this distance from this first column so this will be 23 feet 9 so 23.75 and y is 0 the three point has been drawn and if you want to check the distance then you have to go to here display node no to node distance then click this node and this node to show dimension this node and this node to show dimension press esc and if you want to if if you don't want to show the dimension here then you have to click here this button remove all node to node distance then it will be deleted now i have to draw this point here so if i want to draw this point i have to take dimension here you can see the dimension is from this point 35 feet 18 inch so this is 35.66 so another point has been drawn and now if i want to draw this column you can see here i have to go to here in this direction 12 feet 4 in so my save yes then save as go to desktop and save this tutorial model okay now if i want to draw this column then i have this x direction is 
0 and y direction uh, not y this is in z 12.33 then in uh, click at the bottom you can see this point has been drawn so this way you can draw all this column point and actually this is not very easier way i think i have also a easier way so i don't want to draw this way so i just selecting this node keeping this one and delete okay so first I ha you have to draw this one node as i have shown here if you press here zero then it will be drawn and now i want to use the easiest option to draw this point first i have to draw a point at 10 feet 11 feet 10 inch so take this node cursor select this then press ctrl c from your keyboard and then ctrl v and you can see a paste with move uh, window appears here then i am i have to go to here along x axis so i will put here the value which is 11.833 and okay now select the next ctrl c ctrl v i have the second column is 11 feet 11 inch right here 11.92 okay select the third one ctrl c ctrl v i have the 12 feet along x 12 okay now select all this column and the next i have in this direction vertically 12 feet 4 so ctrl c ctrl v i have along z which is 12.33 then okay this way you can draw the point of column uh, then i have to go to 17 feet 11 inch so i have to select this point then ctrl c ctrl v along z 17.92 enter and now i can see the fourth row of this column has 12 feet 6 so select this ctrl c ctrl v i have 12.5 enter so they are done but here you can see uh, this column is not aligned along this column this column has shifted 1 feet 10 inch rightward and also this column shifted leftward 1 feet 8 so if i go to here then i have this two i have to move that to toward the x direction then select this two node right click then move and i have to go along x 1.833 then ok yes select the other two nodes then right click move and i have minus 1.66 then ok yes so you can see position of the column point has been changed now i have to connect this node you can connect this node using this beam cursor you can see here add beam then click this point this point this point this point by clicking two indivi individual node you can add beam and also there is a easiest way of drawing this just select all this node using node cursor then go to here geometry and you can see here connect being along x y z so first i want to connect them to x okay and again go to along ge um, geometry then connect beams along z then okay so you can see they have been connected but here these two nodes are not aligned with each other that's why uh, it has not been connected so if i want to connect them i have to use add beam connect this one and this one then this one and this one and this is my plane beam or, or great beam you can see here this is my great beam layout which is and this one is floor beam layout so i can use this as a great beam layout now i have to make a story so select this this way then i can copy i don't want to use copy i want to use this command transitional repeat click here and see the facility of these tools and i have to go to along y select here direction y then the default spacing is check here i have this foundation bottom to great beam level six feet so first one this is six and check this link steps and okay you can see all the column point has been connected in between two levels now go to here view from z and press delete from the keyboard then okay click this icon display whole structure you can see the one level 
with some column and grid beam has been drawn now again go to here b from z now beams cursor now select this way and uh, again go to here transitional repeat check this y then this should be my grid beam to first floor level is 10 feet so this should be 10 then click link step ok and check the model is done and select this then right click new view ok go to here isometric view ok done now i have to delete this two beam because i have this beam stood along this line so select this one then delete okay you can see my plan i have this beam along this line so if i want to draw a beam then i have to double click on this beam it is 11.833 then select this beam and go to here insert right here 11.833 click add new point okay so this point and this point is now aligned now click add beams select this point and this point to draw beam and now i have to draw a beam along this line so if i click select this double click on this which is 11.92 and if i take a dimension this and this which is 10.26 so if i go to in excel 11.92 minus 10.10.26 10 then you can see 1.66 so so i have to add a node 1.66 away along x direction select this beam and insert node 1.66 add new point okay now take this add beam this point and this point so you can see my beam layout is done as per this way okay and also you can see here i have a varanda here which is three feet so if i want to draw a varanda here and I, you can also see i have a extension of this stair room which is to five so i just want to draw a three feet line i want to make this is just i'm assuming this with the same line so i am just copying this three beam control uh, i can go to here transitional repeat then along z three feet link steps okay so they are done so this is my varanda i am thinking this and this is the extension of my stair this is stair okay now go to here display whole structure you can see if you go to here 3d rendered view you can see just we have drawn only line there is no member property assigned here so this way you can draw your model and thanks for watching my this video and in the next video i will show you how to define various member size and then how to assign in this if you like this video please subscribe my channel and see you in the next video